The U.S. Capitol, September 18, 2019. A new American hero is about to be unveiled in Statuary Hall. It all began two years earlier, when the Nebraska legislature voted two new heroes into the hall. Roll call. Statuary Hall began in 1864, when Congress invited each state to contribute two sculptures of prominent citizens from the past. In 1937, the people of Nebraska chose William Jennings Bryan, three-time presidential candidate, and J. Sterling Morton, founder of Arbor Day. In the year 2000, states were granted the option of replacing one or both of their statues. Nebraska chose to replace both. Writer Willa Cather will take the place of J. Sterling Morton. In place of William Jennings Bryan, artist Ben Victor's sculpture of Ponca Chief Standing Bear. It's an honor to be here today to recognize a Nebraska hero and one of the most important civil rights leaders in our country that almost nobody knows about. And we hope to be able to correct that today and tell a story. The story begins in the Ponca homeland in Northeast Nebraska. Here, the Niobrara River flows into the Missouri passing white chalk cliffs sacred to the tribe. A Ponca chief named Standing Bear traveled thousands of miles, many on foot, to return to this place. His whole life has been a struggle for justice. Great Spirit, God, it's good to pray to you today. We thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing each of us to be here. I ask that you watch over our Ponca people. The Ponca people have never forgotten their trail of tears. When U.S. soldiers with bayonets forced them from their homeland into a place called Indian Territory. 140 years later, they're reenacting that dark moment in history, step by step. The main thing that they were up against is the unknown. Where are we going? Why are we going here? If you can imagine being sent someplace that far away and not knowing what's going to happen. What happened was starvation and disease on a reservation in present day Oklahoma. After the death of his 16 year old son, Standing Bear in a small clan walked 500 miles back to Nebraska in the dead of winter to keep a promise. He defied those uh, orders when he was in Oklahoma to come back up here, not only to bury his son's bones, but the, but the blood of his people and the people before him ran in this ground. So there was a bond there. There was a draw there that brought him home. Going home made Standing Bear a criminal in the eyes of the government. Before he could be free to live where he wanted, he had to prove in court that he was a person under the law. It is almost unthinkable to us today that it wasn't until 1879, after Standing Bear's trial, that Native Americans were declared to be persons for consideration of the law. Chief Pet Standing Bear didn't seek to be a civil rights leader. He simply wanted to bury his dead son on their ancestral homeland. And in doing so, he called forth the essence of human dignity. And he changed the course of history in that transcendent moment when he raised his hand and said, I, I am a man. The same God made us both. It's that moment in court, just before Standing Bear speaks, 
that sculptor Ben Victor wanted to capture in bronze. He began with a clay model and shipped it to Lincoln, Nebraska, where people could watch as he worked on the final touches. It has been just a packed studio every single day, and it's gotten so much attention for the project and for Chief Standing Bear. That spirit of Chief Standing Bear is still alive because he's still having influence over all of these people. And that influence is growing and thriving. It's not shrinking and dying. And so that's why projects like this are so important. From this clay model, Ben Victor cast three nine-foot-tall bronze statues. The first was unveiled in Lincoln's Centennial Mall. The second stands on a hill in the Ponca homeland, where Standing Bear died in 1908. He was my great-great-great-grandfather, and that's how I knew him growing up. He was family. Just being on the grounds, having the cemetery close by, having Standing Bear's statue up on the hill, I just feel so close to him. He's like, he's here in spirit. Now with the statue we enshrine in bronze, our promise to build the better, more just future of which Chief Standing Bear dreamed. And we display that promise proudly in the U.S. Capitol so that thousands of people, everyone who comes through here, will see the statue and learn the story and be inspired and be challenged. From every part of the world, people can bear witness to it. From all over America, people can see it every day for generations, perhaps seven generations at least, to come. Thank you all for making this day so special for this, for the Congress, more importantly, for the United States of America. God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you so much.